Well, this is a, a major work by uh, the New York artist Audrey Flack. Audrey Flack is one of the best known realist painters uh, in the country. Um, but what's not well known ab about her career is that she has done a fair number of sculptures and uh, they're all impressive. This is part of a commission, and I say part of a commission because it was intended uh, to be a, a many stories high sculpture in Queens, New York. The, the term Queens refers to uh, the Queen of, uh, of Portugal, Catherine, uh, a 17th century queen. The, the major project did not materialize. This is the maquette, uh, a large study for it. It weighs 1,700 pounds. It's nearly 12, 13 feet high. Uh, and it's very, very impressive, as you can see. We've had a, a nice relationship with Audrey Flack over the years. Uh, she mentioned this to me in a visit to her studio uh, several years back. Would we like to have it? And of course, we'd like to have it. Uh, and, the, and the rest was uh, pulling it off. Since there are no uh, images of the Queen uh, Catherine of Portugal that exist, no paintings, uh, no refer visual references to her, uh, so what the artist did was to, 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 to just create a female face with multiracial characteristics and uh, it, it speaks womanhood versus a specific woman. And I thought that was a, an interesting uh, approach. We had three companies involved uh, in moving the Queen from storage in New York to storage in Youngstown, and then eventually when we were able to pull it off to, to get her into the building, uh, she had to come through the elevator with a half inch clearance. Uh, it was remarkable uh, effort to make this happen. We measured and remeasured. We had the architect measure. We had Diamond Steel Company measure. We all measured to make sure that we had her dimensions just right. She came in a crate. The crate had to be removed at the loading dock, and then uh, came the process of, of moving it through the butler. She had to come down steps, so a, a ramp was created so that she could slowly move down the ramp. Then she had to go back up the steps in uh, another ramp where she's pushed. And fortunately, there are some, some fairly strong people here in Youngstown, uh, and it was necessary that day to use them. And uh, eventually uh, pushed right through the long Novak Gallery. Uh, and then scaffolding had to be built around her, and uh, the two parts uh, put together. And then the final, the, the final aspect of it all was to have a conservator from the McKay Lodge uh, Laboratory fit the two pieces together and then uh, apply a material to make the seam disappear. It was a, a lot of people involved, a lot of effort involved, but in the end it really has paid off for the butler. An afterthought was to have the queen hold a globe, maybe making reference to uh, the world and to digitize it uh, so that it is uh, electronic and, and, and gives off these various colors, which adds uh, an element, a special element to the, to the sculpture. It was her idea and we followed through with it and she was delighted. She's placed now in our Beecher Center uh, addition to the butler. This, this wing is all about new media. And this is a very traditional media, plaster, white plaster but the, the added electronics makes us uh, feel, feel better about her location here. We did uh, consider several other spots in the building, but because of the, the fact that, that she comes in two pieces, a bottom and a top, and there are spikes on the bottom part that, in which the top part has to fit on, and so the, the top part has to be lifted, and so you need extra height for the, for the queen to, to be here. And so this part of the Beecher Center, this, we call it our Novak Gallery, uh, was perfect.